Hey, Jim Bergman here. I'm with uh, James Adcox from Subco. Uh, we're going over a little bit of the features of the Redfish IDBM 550. I thought we'd just shoot a little bit of a quick video on something we haven't really shot before, which is uh, the inrush current on the Redfish and how that works, and then show you what happens when we put a, a hard start kit on there, because it might not be what you'd expect, so I thought it'd be real cool to show that. Hey, Jim, what, uh, you guys have like a bazillion hard starts. Um, the one you brought, uh, what's, what makes that one unique? So this one is an SPP-8E. It's our electronic potential relay hard start. So it has instant restart with that relay. Uh, it's a simple two wire installation. It's the Cadillac hot rod of our hard starts. There's nothing on the market uh, comparable to it. So pretty much it just gets rid of the, the PTC, which is like they get those things heated up, then they take a few minutes to reset. So if, you, if you're going through a quick reset, this thing's just gonna immediately reset and allow it to restart again without having that. That lag, right? Exactly. So we're pretty much always assured of this. Uh, we're going to start every time. Exactly. And it has a nice wide range. It's good for one to ten horsepower on your compressors, also. So it gives you a nice wide range. And it, I imagine it drops out a lot faster too than when Absolutely. it does with the speed, right? Yeah. yeah. So some some pretty significant things there. So we got the meter set up here, and the inner inrush mode on a, on the Redfish 550. There's a uh, the yellow key here, the function key, right above it. It says inrush on there. And all I'm going to do is press and hold that key to enter the inrush mode. I just turn it off. So now I'm going to press and hold it again, and it'll say inrush on the display. And so what we're going to look at is a couple different things here. This compressor has a lock rotor amps of 48 amps on there. So we'll go ahead and start this, and we'll see what the inrush current is. So I'm just going to turn the stat down here, and we'll turn this to uh, cool mode. And and it started up here, and we have about 43.96 amps uh, on the startup of inrush on here. So we're at 208 volts here instead of um, instead of uh, 240. So we expect this to be a little bit lower. But let's put the hard start kit on there. We'll repeat this test again, and we'll see where we're at. So we're going to pull the power, James. And So your power's off. Let's just check that real quick. Make sure we're not going to barbecue you. <laughs> just because I like you, your dad would probably be upset if I if I didn't do this for you. So we'll just double check that real quick. This is what makes a relationship good here is we watch out for each other. <laughs> All right. So we are good here. We have no voltage on there. So go ahead and we can put that on there, and I'll get set up again for another test. Oh, next one over. Next one over. Yeah, you're on the fan there. Yep. Yeah, common across the common in the uh, hermetic on there. That's what really, that thing's hard to see in there. There you go. All right, so we got the hard start installed, and you know, obviously we can just mount this in the box or whatever. Uh, we'll just tie it down in there, and then we'll go ahead and restart this. Now, it's going to be on a timer for a minute, so it's going to take a second. So what we'll, we'll do... is I'm going to turn this to off for a minute and then we're going to give it a couple seconds for the uh, for the flashing on the board to reset and then we'll turn it back to the uh, we'll turn it back on and we'll, and we'll redo this test again. All right so we got the hard start kit all hooked up and uh, we're going to go ahead and turn this back to cool and start this up again and we'll let that go. We've got the meter all set up here and we're at 46.75, and I think we we're about that before, too. We we're about that same amount of amp draw, right? So, hard start kit on there. We didn't see the amp draw change at all. I'm not sure what you expected. So, we expected that because the hard start doesn't change the amp draw. What it does is it changes the amount of time it takes for the compressor to come along. It just gets it up to speed faster, yeah. Exactly. And that's uh, something a lot of people don't understand. If you're using a a more quality meter, um, what happens is it doesn't have a fast enough sampling rate to actually catch that. So a lot of times people put a hard start kit on there, they go, oh, the amp draw dropped down from 48 down to 37 or 35 amps, and, and they go, my inrush current dropped way down. Well, it, it actually didn't. What it is, your meter's just not fast enough to see what, what happened because now the compressor start time is a lot slower on there. Now we got this built in, in the education section, into the app here. And uh, let me just see here, benefits of hard start kits here. I know it's right here, benefit of hard starts. And I'll scroll down here. 
And you can see, if you want to just come over here, we can take a look at the screen. Um, our inrush power, if you look at this, what happens here is when the heart start hit on here, it's the duration. So it's about a quarter of a second versus almost, let's say, three quarters of a second of start time. So it cuts that inrush current time way down, but about the same after all. Really, really nice feature on the redfish meter. Really helps you to understand when you have uh, starting problems on there and what that inrush current's doing. And again, uh, just something that uh, a lot of other meters that are lower quality just don't have. And I think, uh, again, uh, great combination of parts. And I don't know, you got anything else to add to that? No. I think the, the hard starts, you know, the big thing we want to use those for is anytime we have a, uh, like undersized conductors or we have a voltage sag in there. It's just going to help that start quicker so we minimize things like light flashing in your in your house or even damage to your computers and other electronics in there uh, due to the, the voltage sag as well that can occur with starting a, a large motor like a compressor. So it's a, it's a great little product and something you guys should look at. And if you've got any questions, reach out to Jim Adcox at the SUPCO and I'm sure you'd be glad to help you. Absolutely. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you.